Bye bye, visual scripting. Hello folks, Andrew from Yellow Hat Games here. Today we're going to talk about this news. Now, basically what happened is that Godot 4 is not going to continue visual scripting. And this came out just a few days ago. That might be a news, a bad news for someone. But now I have a few questions for you. Is this actually bad? Is this going to be a bad thing? Are you really using visual scripting? Is this going to change your game dev or are you going to move to another engine like, I don't know, Unity because it has bold now. They explain here that visual scripting was one of the most requested features in Godot 2.1. So basically they introduced that and that was actually the point why I moved to Godot. Now a little background story here. I started making games by using Clicktime Fusion. Clicktime Fusion is an engine that uses visual scripting. I use other engines like Adobe Flash as well but never understand the action script and I used Wintermute Engine that is another type of software but basically when I started really making real games was with Clicktime Fusion. It was so easy and that was my kind of first time making real games. I got really inspired and I said okay I can use this and I can definitely make games with this and that was my entry point basically. After a while I moved to Godot just because the visual scripting but my first impact and first impression was terribly wrong and terribly bad. Visual scripting just didn't make sense to me because I had this background from Clicktime Fusion and I was moving from Clicktime Fusion because I had so much limitations and I needed more freedom but coming on Godot it looked that I had other limitations creating stuff that I already knew how to create on Multimedia Fusion. And probably here I made the best decision of my life, probably, and I started learning GDScript. And GDScript is so easy and I totally understand why people move to GDScript and don't use visual scripting. Now going down here, basically you go and you find out a, a few news. Okay, they made a pool basically and they asked the people on the internet what kind of language are they using to code their games and 5000 people answered and they said only 0.5% of these people was using basically visual scripting and that's kind of 24, 25 people. It's quite a small number actually, but there's no need for tears here because probably visual scripting is going to come on Godot 4 as an extension. They can convert this to an extension thanks to Godot CPP that, that I, I suppose it's a compiler and probably that's going to be okay. This might be an extension project and whoever wants to use Visual scripting probably is going to be able to use on Godot 4.0 as well this this thing. So basically if you are interested in this extension, you need to ask them because they need to know your answer, your, your needs. So just go to chat.godotengine.org and just enter the rocket chat server and under the scripting channel just right there that you need this. And they probably going to, to make it a thing for you. Now another news is that as long as you're using Godot 3.x, basically you have already visual scripting. This is going to be removed only on Godot 4. Visual scripting on Godot is kind of bad, it's limited and honestly I don't care that much. Now the fact is this, if you compare other engines like Clicktime Fusion, Construct or Game Maker or why not Unity with this bold or Blueprint of Unreal, basically Blueprint is huge but there's a stiff, a stiff curve to learn it and that's the fact why Blueprint may take time and a lot of users maybe just get away from Unreal as well. And there's GDevolp as well that is free, it's out there. Basically these engines have a good visual scripting. Looking from a perspective of Godot, it's a little bit behind of those and definitely needs to improve and include more stuff and be more complete. So a good entry point for a beginner that wants to get in the game dev probably is going to be one of those other engines if they, if they want to use visual scripting. But if you want to learn GDScript just give it a look just give a chance to yourself to learn GDScript because it's going to be a good decision of your life if you start instead with visual scripting on these engines well you're doing great again I see no shame on this at all because you're going to learn a lot you're going to make your games you're going to finish your projects and most important you're going to learn the logic because the logic is going to be there if you're doing a visual scripting or if you're doing game dev with coding. So that's all. Guys, let me know down in the comments what do you think about this thing? Is going this to impact your game dev life or are you moving to another engine because of this with Godot 4? Or you're just going to use GDScript because GDScript is awesome and easy. 
This is Andrew from Yellow Hat Games, thank you for watching and more importantly leave a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't lose any of my videos and more important, keep daring games!